the intake vanos solenoid. While working at the left front corner of the cylinder head cover, disconnect the crankcase vent hose by squeezing the release tabs and pulling it away from the cylinder head cover. Disconnect the Vano solenoid electrical connector as indicated by the green arrow. Squeeze the metal release clip and pull it off the solenoid. Then using a 32 mm wrench, loosen the Vano solenoid. If the Vanos oil line prevents access to the Vano solenoid hex, remove the oil line's 19 mm banjo bolt. This will improve access to the Vano solenoid. Be prepared to catch dripping oil with a rag. Unscrew the E46 Vano solenoid from the Vanos actuator. Have a rag handy to catch any dripping oil. Install the new Vano solenoid in the reverse order. When complete, check the engine for oil leaks. The exhaust Vano solenoid. Remove the engine cooling fan and the fan shroud. Please see the link at the end of this video for additional assistance on those procedures. Once that's done, locate the Vanos solenoid at the lower right side of the Vanos actuator, as indicated by the green arrow. Then disconnect the electrical connector by pressing the release tab and pulling it off, green arrow. Next, use a 32 mm wrench and loosen the Vanos solenoid. You may have to use a short wrench or a 32 mm crow foot adapter depending on the Vanos solenoid orientation in the Vanos actuator. Be prepared to catch dripping oil with a rag. Unscrew the Vanos solenoid from the Vanos actuator. Install the new Vanos solenoid in reverse order. When complete, check the engine for oil leaks. The Vanos oil line. Remove the alternator. Please see the link at the end of this video for further assistance. Using a 19mm wrench, remove the Vanos oil line below the oil filter housing, as indicated by the purple arrow. Cover the line and opening to prevent any dirt from entering the Vanos system, purple arrow. Working at the rear of the oil filter housing, purple arrow, use a 19mm wrench and remove the E46 Vanos oil line. Cover the line and the opening to prevent any dirt from entering the Vanos system green arrow. Remove the Vanos oil line from the engine. Install a new Vanos oil line with new sealing washers and tighten the banjo bolt. Reinstall the alternator and check the engine for oil leaks once complete. Thanks for watching. Click here to view the original article along with hundreds of other DIY content for your car.